Facing mounting backlash over privacy concerns, the leaders behind Toronto's first smart city are now promising they won't own any of the data collected in the new Keyside neighbourhood. Instead, it will all be given to an independent body. This is the first time Sidewalk Labs has revealed exactly what they plan on doing with the data collected in this high-tech neighbourhood. I think the fact that we're being so clear that we do not want to own the data, that it should be held by this independent body, this civic data trust, I think that hopefully will allow people to see that uh, our intent here is to build a really great community. Do we know who's going to be sitting on the governing body of this trust? We think the key to that is that it's independent, that it's not controlled by any company or any one body. And that's something we look forward to discussing with all the experts over the coming months. There's also been concerns raised about favoritism, like is Sidewalk Labs going to get access to this data that other people might not have? I mean, the, one of the key principles of what we put forward yesterday was that all the data would be open to everybody to ensure absolutely no favoritism, that entrepreneurs, that individuals would have access to this data as well. And so we think that's a core component of the trust concept, is that that open access. The proposed development on Toronto's eastern waterfront has been called an innovative masterpiece that would see cutting-edge technology at the centre of everything it does. But the project has faced hurdles. Waterfront Toronto and Sidewalk Labs, the leaders behind the project, heavily criticised for their secrecy around what will happen to all this data. Critics say even given this latest development, it's become far too difficult to trust these companies. It's a rushed sort of panic response to the fact that public sentiment is going down fast about this project. Uh, they've been asked questions for about a year about what to do with data and I think you know there's been no answer until now and now this has become such a problem that they had to respond so they just you know knee-jerk defensive reaction here's something. Now, there have been several high-profile resignations over this issue, including one earlier this month when a tech leader wrote a scathing letter on her way out. Uh, today, we asked Sadia Muzaffar exactly what she thought of these latest developments. And she wrote to us that Sidewalk Labs continues to assume privileges that the residents of Toronto have not granted them. They are a vendor. The move is hasty and continues to make a mockery of our dem democratically informed processes of city building. Sidewalk Lab says none of these pro proposals are uh, fixed or final. In fact, they have to go through several consultations down the road.